how many writers does it take to screw in a light bulb? Probably like like one. Uh, I'm sure they're looking for any excuse to do anything other than write. We liked our fun here. Welcome back. We're shaken. My name's Cam, and welcome back to another video. You read the title correctly. I am currently working on a book as we speak, and it's a collaboration with 13 other writers slash YouTubers that you may or may not know. You might have seen Kate and me talk about this in our live stream just a little while ago, but for everyone else who uh, didn't catch that live stream, get out. If my live streams aren't good enough for you, then neither are my videos. I'm just kidding, please don't leave. I'm really excited for this. It's gonna be a pretty big project and I think it's going to be a lot of fun, putting aside. <laughs> well, well, I'll get to that. Uh, here's the deal. It's an anthology of horror short stories. If everything goes to plan, which it really does, but if it does, by some miracle, there will be about 13 short stories, all horror, and with one central theme that I will tell you about in just a moment. And if this sounds familiar, it's likely because I was involved in something very similar just last year. <sighs> this one here, Local Haunts. Local Haunts, an anthology of horror short stories from uh, creators all around the world, creators slash writers, based on the theme of local legends or myths from our part of the world. This one was entirely planned and arranged by Regina from Regina's Haunted Library, and if I can be so bold, I think it was a great success. I really loved the, like, goofy little creepy story I wrote for that one. It was a bit of a tribute to your classic campfire horror stories and played with a very popular Australian legend that does a pretty good job of scaring tourists. I remember Remember when Regina was getting uh, local haunts arranged and one of my primary thoughts was, well first of all I felt really sorry for her having to be the one behind it all, and secondly, how the hell is it even possible to get that many writers organised enough to, to create this? Writers, especially writers who do YouTube videos, are <laughs> notoriously uh, underprepared all of the time. Well, terrifyingly enough, now I'm the one in that position. The new anthology is being collected, formatted, and published pretty much entirely by myself. So fair to say, I'm a little bit nervous. I was obviously inspired to do this by uh, Local Haunts and Regina, and I think it would be fantastic to see other people in the writing community, especially on YouTube, uh, collaborate more exactly like this. I think doing collections of short stories is such a fantastic and perfect idea and way for all of the writers here to not only work together and collaborate, which can be kind of difficult on AuthorTube, but also to get their writing out there and get it published in some way. Anyway, Anyway, that's how it came about, so let me get into the actual details. The theme of the anthology is away from home, which can be pretty much anything like uh, vacations, travels, road trips, or really any other situation where the characters are in an unfamiliar place. Originally, and I swear to god this is true, I was going to call the anthology Far From Home, but for obvious reasons I can no longer do that. The title now is we're not home. There's a few reasons I went with this theme, but primarily is because I I really wanted to write a horror short story where the characters are on a beach holiday. Also, it feels like kind of good timing, uh, you know, with the pandemic still underway and so many people stuck at home. Maybe reading about people being killed on vacations will make you feel better about the fact that you can't leave the house. I don't know. I'm really excited to say that there is concept art for the cover right now. It's it's already been done. But I'm not going to show you that just yet. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to blue ball you here. I'm sorry. As for the release date of the anthology, the hope at the moment, the like perfect outcome is that it would be released about two weeks before Halloween. But obviously that's like basically three months away from right now. That is a very, very slim window, so I can't make any promises there, but at the latest I think it will be out by mid-November. Oh, I haven't even told you yet. One of the best parts of this whole thing is that, like Local Haunts, all of the profits from this anthology will be going to charity. Uh, the charity in question is called booksinhomes.com.au, which is an Australian organisation dedicated to helping children in less fortunate communities get their hands on some books. Unfortunately, not everyone is lucky enough to grow up near bookstores or even a library, especially in rural communities. So Books in Homes is really putting the work in to make sure that kids everywhere can have the same chance to experience the same stories that have made 
like you and me, the people that we are. So you might want to know who the other YouTubers are that are involved in this project. Let me list them out for you. You'll also be able to find all of their channels linked in the description below. We have Kate Kavanagh, Dane Cobain, Regina from Regina's Haunted Library that I mentioned before, Cameron Cheney, The Writing Community Chat Show, Slady from Slady Vlogs, Jeremy Fee, Jason's Weird Reads, Lydia Peeva, Mary McWilliams, Matt Wall from Paperback Junkie, David DeSiro, Andrew from Grumpy Andrew's Horror House. And obviously the most handsome of the bunch. Me. Please don't disagree with me on that. I really wanted to make sure that uh, smaller channels were included. I didn't want this to feel exclusive to just writers slash YouTubers with large subscriber counts. If you applied and you didn't get a spot, please don't take it personally because I did get quite a lot of applications and plus a lot of the people involved were already like invited before before I even created uh, the application form. I, I got a lot of the people that were involved with Local Haunts involved with this one too because I'd worked with them before and I knew it would be easy to get that up and running again. Keep in mind this is the first time I've ever arranged something like this so I wanted to do it in the easiest way possible and I promise you it's not because I think they're better than you or anything silly like like that. Uh, plus you'll have your chance again next year. This is going to be like an annual thing that I plan on doing so stick around and next time it might be you. There are going to be a lot of fun things happening leading up to the release of We're Not Home. So make sure you subscribe to me and maybe even the people uh, that I mentioned that I'll link in the description below because they'll likely be doing stuff on their channels as well. Make sure you stick around so you don't miss out. I'm talking about live stream launch parties, giveaways, fundraisers, games, a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to be great. Thank you so much for watching this announcement. It really does mean a lot to me that you've taken an interest in something that I have to say, so thank you. And I mean that whether you plan on buying the anthology or not. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching through the whole video too. The video is done now, so go do some writing. Catch ya.